Hi, I'm Dan Danielson, and I'm at the Norris Watercolor Show 2003, and it's an honor. I, I won an award uh, for my piece uh, named Selfie by Elsie. Thank you for the award. Uh, last summer, I had the opportunity to work on a farm out in uh, Iowa, and it was just about 30 miles outside of Des Moines, Iowa, and I was uh, volunteering to work on a project by the uh, John Deere uh, Dairy Cattle uh, Cooperative Association. And uh, I was working uh, out in the field one day, and I, I heard a ringtone going off, and I thought it was my phone, um, and it was uh, coming from out in the field, and I thought, what's that all about? I, and I thought somebody left their cell phone out in the field, so I, I went over the fence and I walked out to where there was about the, maybe about a dozen uh, cows out there, dairy cows were out there, and they were just grazing. And then I looked over and there was actually a, a, a cell phone on the ground. And I went over to the cell phone and the cows uh, got very, uh, they got very upset. They were hearing this ringtone. It was getting them very disturbed. And then I came over and they got upset at me and they were making all kinds of sounds. Um, and I noticed that a couple of the, the cows had cell phones attached to their collar. All of a sudden, I heard the, the, one of the cell phones around the collar of one of the cows was ringing, and I heard uh, the cow made a sound, so it activated the phone. Um, and then it activated the phone, and then I heard another phone go off, and the, and the two cows actually seemed to be able to communicate with each other. And then I heard a human voice come over the phone. The human voice said, Elsie Barn, Elsie barn and then uh, so the one cow started going back actually started walking towards the barn I took out my phone and I started videotaping that and I found out uh, later on when I showed it to the the people at John Deere corporation they said it's a new program where they're actually putting cell phones uh, on the collars the farmer back in the barn can track uh, by calling them and the cell phones are voice activated by the cow, the sounds from the cows. And uh, so they can keep track of the cows and then they, they can call the cow and certain cows, not all the cows, but some of them have the phones. They can actually tell uh, commands to the cows to um, what they want the cow to do, to come back to the barn or it's milking time or whatever. And I thought, this is fascinating. I, I didn't know anything about it. I was just working on some small little equipment thing. So uh, I, I came back and I told some people and they said, oh, that's, you know, that's nonsense. I said, you know, go online and you can see it. It's the John Deere, uh, John Deere Dairy Cattle Cooperative Association. Around Christmas time, I got a text message and um, I found out that um, I got a, a photograph uh, of a cow and it said it was from Elsie. And uh, I, 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 I thought, wow, that, that's pretty interesting. Well, I found out that later on that they also used, there was a coyote that was out on the, uh, uh, out on the pasture, and the coyote um, was getting the cows all upset. So the cows started activating their uh, cell phones to warn each other about the coyote that was out on the field. Um, and uh, this is one of the things that the John Deere is working on, and it's kind of a future uh, of, of being able to manage the dairy herd. Um, it, was kind of, it was kind of interesting. Uh, I did get a phone from Elsie uh, saying that she was okay, that the coyotes were uh, under control. It was kind of a, a nice uh, little thing that she sent to me. I took the photo, I saw the photo, and I decided to do a painting uh, a lot of times, I, I found out later it wasn't really a selfie, it was actually another cow took a picture of Elsie. So it wasn't really Elsie taking a, because Elsie said she couldn't take the photo herself. She just couldn't do that. I, I really, I, I thought it was really nice of her to send me the photo. Though. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. That was the subject matter, and, I, and from that I, I made the watercolor painting. Uh, I have to get out there. Uh, I thanked her, and uh, 
it, it, well, it was fun. It was a fun thing to do. So go online. They have a website. It's really interesting.